You want to save some money and use rainwater in your garden? How about teaching your kids some business know-how with their own lemonade stand? Not so fast. You could actually be breaking the law. That's right. It looks like America is transforming from the land of the free into regulation nation. Here to share his always colorful opinions on just some of the <laughs> laws found across the country, conservative comedian Brad Stein from Nashville. Good morning, Brad. Good morning, Steve. It's great to be with you again, and I'm glad to have you walking me through this crazy <laughs> law thing. Well, you know, there are so many crazy laws in this country. 40,000 new yeah. laws went into effect in January. Here's one of them. Out in a number of western states, it is illegal to collect rainwater. Yeah, you know, I got to tell you something. You can't get any more arrogant than to start charging God for his resources. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. But see, that's what the liberal ideologue always does. Remember, if they cannot convince you, they will coerce you. And that's what laws really do. You know, I find it ironic that God Almighty only needed 10 laws to tell human <laughs> beings how to survive. But suddenly we have to say that rainwater coming down from the sky needs to be tax controlled in right. some way. You know, I find that interesting. Maybe that's a new thing they can do, by the way, with these bottled waters now, Steve. Forget recycling them. Sure. Heck, heck, here's what you need to do. Just take them, put the caps back on them, and start selling them as bottled air. Why not? Just tax the entire environment. It's God's, but it's ours now. Just a matter of time. Now, that's using your head. Also, in some places, illegal to smoke in your backyard. And real quickly, illegal to hold Bible study classes in your own house. Yeah, well, smoking in your backyard is killing me. You know, it's always arbitrary, too, by the way, which health things you're allowed to do. If you're smoking, you know, marijuana, the liberals don't care. If you're getting drunk in your backyard, go ahead. Matter of fact, invite us over. But cigarettes, no, I might smell that. That's the new, uh, the, the ultimate new sin, right. by the way. And what's going to happen next? Are they going to start selling, uh, uh, t taxing us for barbecuing because a vegetarian <laughs> might smell the meat odors? This is getting out of hand. And by the way, if you're going to start telling people they can't teach the word of God in their own right. homes. I hope they have their life insurance paid up because God's <laughs> going to be cashing that in soon. Get All some right. rubber shoes. I think some lightning's coming. Some rubber shoes. All right. Always a pleasure. He's here with us every Monday. Brad Stein, thank you very much. It's my pleasure. You know that. I do know that. Thank you, sir. All right. A typical house in a regular suburban town. But here, a family's preparing for the end of the world. A German Mauser and P-38 from World War II, a 12-gauge shotgun, a 40 caliber pistol, and an AR-15. Weapons and ammunition are key. If we're carrying this out on the street for some reason, all hell broke out and it's, you know, end of the world type situation. You can't walk around with these guns here. Keith Proscura, a certified NRA instructor and owner of two businesses, stores food and supplies to help him survive no matter what disaster might hit. Breakdown of government is one thing that a lot of people are preparing for now. We're uh, facing possible pay delays for Social Security. Um, I don't believe I'm going to need any of this kind of equipment for that, but you're going to have a lot of Americans that are kind of upset. The 37-year-old is among thousands of American preppers who would rather be ready than sorry. RT spoke with the founder of the Preppers Network from inside his truck. Not so much political, but more economic. Um, I see people every day lose their jobs and, and uh, have to rely on food that they've had stored up previously to live on that food just because they've lost their job. Gas masks, bulletproof vests, canned food, tents, and helmets fill basements like this one. A prepper survival bag is not a typical first aid kit. It includes things like a parachute cord, a body heat retaining space blanket, a survival knife, a meal ready to eat, and bagged emergency drinking.